Airborne radar approach is basically an approach that we make ourselves. We are not dependent on any ground station, so there's no ILS, nothing on the platform that brings us down in bad weather. So we need to make that approach ourselves. Before I explain about the weather radar approach, you need to understand that all our flying is basically done IFR, instrument flight rules. Even though sometimes it's good weather, we generally always file an IFR flight plan and we fly under instrument flight rules. The North Sea, on the other hand, where we operate mostly, below a certain altitude, which is exactly where we operate at all times, is uncontrolled airspace. So even though we fly IFR, we are ourselves responsible for separation to other traffic and obviously obstacles. When you think about instrument flying, uh, an aircraft takes off from an airfield, does an instrument departure, it goes to a cruise phase, a descent phase, and in the end a landing phase. This all happens controlled. They depart from a controlled airfield, enter controlled airspace where they are separated by air traffic control. They are under a radar guidance to separate them from other traffic if needed. And they fly above what we call an MSA, minimum safe altitude. This all guarantees clearance from the ground and separation from other traffic. What we do, however, as helicopters, we depart from an airfield, which is controlled. The first part of our flight happens usually in controlled airspace, but then over the North Sea, at some point, we need to descend to our destination, which is a vessel, a platform, or basically anything with a helideck. This happens below MSA, or minimum safe altitude. So we are responsible ourselves for separation to the ground, separation to other aircraft, and in the end, to find the platform to land on. So we use our weather radar to make a weather radar approach, which is found in our operations manual and something we train very often. But when it comes to an acceptable level of risk, we really penetrate some barriers here. We are below MSA, minimum safe altitude. And to be able to go below MSA, we have obstacles. Think about wind farms, think about sky sails on a big ship, uh, another big vessel that is in front of our destination, uh, a platform that's on a tow by, an, by a tugboat to a new destination. A lot of obstacles are actually in the sea, in our environment of operation. So therefore, we need to rely on our weather radar to find obstacles. We do have HTOLs, Helicopter Terrain Awareness and Avoidance System, obviously. However, all things, all safety features in helicopters, similar as an aircraft, are database driven. So it only tells you obstacles that are in the database of the helicopter or the aircraft. If there is something offshore which is not in the database, we will not hear or see it from our navigation screen. Therefore, we use our weather radar because that's the only piece of equipment that is actually looking outside. In good weather, I'm looking outside and my colleague is as well. Our eyes are the best way to detect obstacles, obviously. However, in bad weather, we can't see outside. So we need our weather radar. For a weather radar approach, we need the information from the weather radar to be displayed to us. In our cockpit, we have two main screens in front of us. On the left, we have our PFD or primary flight display when I'm in the left seat. And on the right, we have our navigation display or multifunctional display because there's a lot more on this display I can show. Currently, it's showing our power plant or all the temperatures and pressures that are in the helicopter. But if we go to the map page, I have a top section on the screen where it shows the map in front of us. Now, when I go from the map, I can select TOS or terrain avoidance and warning system. Next one is the weather. Now with this, the weather radar on at the moment is on forced standby because we're on the ground. But what this picture gives us is a sweep from the weather radar and a distance I can change in the scale. There you go. This is the sector and this is where obstacles will be shown from the weather radar. And this is what we use during our airborne radar approach. Okay guys, it's time to have a look in the cockpit with us, how it looks in real life. Here I am with my colleague preparing for airborne radar approach in actual IMC conditions. And we're about to descend below MSA to a destination offshore. Double five six alpha Before landing, before landing, the apex briefing. I'll do the two somewhere. Uh, yeah, 10 minutes. Gentlemen, we are approaching the well safe protector. Another 10 minutes. 
Please remain seated with the belt fastened until after landing. The sign is being switched off when the HLO opens the door. TIs. Is off. Plus the 5 degrees. Compasses. RGG. GG. Landing briefing. LV is standard airborne radar approach. In the pre-select, 1500 feet. I'll give myself LT. A. Select it. 1500. Thank you. Uh, lead in point 700 miles, then final track 210. Our flight on RHD, I'll ask you a radar height 90 initially ground speed within 200 miles, 70 ground speed. Uh, right seat landing. Check. Go it. Oh. The minimums uh, 250. Uh, landing light. Uh, Comes up by Paul, 5 starting in for the uh, radar approach, Delta 155. Three, three, three. Uh, park break. Come on, come on. 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 Oké, okay, turning about. Oké, okay, final right. turn. Okay. Speed 90, ground speed. I'll beep down 1000 in this way. Until 400 miles. Not asset. 1000 C. Oké, okay, stabilize final. Clear path ahead, misplaced sector to the left. Check. The uh, police like heading is 200 for the 1.5. 200, check. Wow, to go. Check. Level of 1000 feet throttled. Uh, I'll keep the speed. Uh, 78 ground speed. 78, approaching 4 miles. Check. 4 miles. Check. Descending. Okay, initially 400 feet. 400 feet. Oh, as for clear deck. Yeah, thanks. We're also for deck take slow. Uh, good morning, Global uh, 56 Alpha, deck clearance. 56 Alpha, deck on HLO, good morning, deck is available. Deck available, well, safe deck, Global 56 Alpha. Deck available. Check, thank you. Now we have 3 nautical miles, Check. reducing the speed further to 70 ground speed. One half to go. Check, and continue beeping down 300. Three hundred radar height pre-select. Three hundred feet. Check. Two miles. Sixty-seven okay. ground speed. Okay. And R's up for the finals, please. Uh, the NR is up. The gear down to wind. Perfect on clearance. We have. No uh, firm. And uh, visual with. Uh, well, yeah, visual as well. Continue. Maintaining three hundred. Happy. Check. Uh, happy to radar off. Yeah, happy. Radar off. Good visual. Mine is complete. Thanks. I'll take off LNAV. I have RHT indicated airspeed. Check. Alright, decoupled. Check. Put fire 60. Check. Yep, identified. Well, safe projector. Check. Finals completed. Thank you. Uh, good visual with the wind, so into wind. Check. Check, so able to go away. And let check. Check height. Check height. One fifty feet. Pitch is below. Thank you. This position. Collective Town, Cycling Centers. Time is 43, Lubo, 5612, on deck, to protect. Good afternoon. Rotor low. Rotor low.